Hey Fit Fam, today the red shirt core strength workout. Let's go ahead and get started with our rotation. So my feet are planted, my knees are bent, and I'm twisting. And I'm rotating. All right, folks, lock it in. Focus. We need to get this workout done, okay? People ask me after a little hiatus from exercise, what workout do I start with? You always start with core strength, okay? So if you haven't worked out in a week, two weeks, two months, three years, 20 years, you've seen it, start with this workout, okay? And twist. Now my mom, she worked out Friday, huh, mom? Yeah. Okay, now look, I'm gonna unlock my hips and I'm gonna allow my hips to twist open, okay? Now, what you can do, folks, you can do it, it's not that advanced technology, get a portable speaker, right? get an Alexa, you can actually play music on a different technological device, your iPad, your computer, your TV. So if you want music in the background, go ahead, turn it on. No, you cannot play YouTube and music on your phone at the same time. Twist. The reason I don't put music in the workouts is it's impossible to please this many people <laughs> and have just like with one song. Like I would need at least 30 different songs playing at the same time. All right, so keep your rotation going. We're going to pivot like we were practicing last week. So as I turn to the right, my left toe is going to twist. As I turn to the left, my right toe is going to twist. And I'm twisting and I'm pivoting. I'm allowing my shoulders to come around. Now before this, I just shot a five minute short. I mean, I called it a lecture, but I feel like no one's gonna watch a lecture. You'll watch though, my mom was totally not down for the lecture. Anyways, I was explaining something called lift, which is our ability to push against gravity, which translates to the ability to get all the compression off your joints, which is honestly probably with a 99% likelihood that the reason you have joint pain is from compression. Okay, and relax, good, breathe. Ah. All right, so we're gonna work on our lift force, okay? So first one up here is breathe in, inhale, hands come all the way up overhead, inhale, reaching up, and I want you to stretch your arms up, reach as high as you can. Imagine your vertebrae literally separating, lifting off each other, and exhale. Good, breathing in, coming all the way up, inhale, reaching. You wanna reach up as high as you can, inhale, lifting the vertebrae, and exhale. One more, breathing in, inhale. All the way up. And exhale, coming down and release. All right, let's go with the marches. So boop, 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 boop. One, two, ready, go, and ha. And step, 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 step. So we're marching today, you're on tempo. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 right? Bum, 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 bum. I always combine the songs. Okay, anyways. <laughs> While you're marching, your knees kind of soft feet. And I'm allowing my arms to hang loose a little bit. They're not, they're not super like floppy arms, but they're here and they're rolling. And I want you to imagine right where your belly button is, you're lifting that up, okay? Now, a big component of lift is what I call light feet. So you don't wanna hear clomping. You want your feet lifting off the ground. They're floating off the ground. I don't know if you guys like sports. I don't really like sports, but soccer players, they have insanely light feet. If you watch a soccer player run, they're like. Looking at light feet, folks. All right, so you hear me say this, but my mic cut out. So we're just gonna keep marching here, left and right and left and right and left and right. So what I'm talking about here, you can see my mouth moving, is I'm essentially explaining the word of the week of decisions and how realistically the best way to make a decision is to make it once. Okay? Now, what we're doing here is it looks like I'm gonna go into the next exercise. This is gonna be rolling the shoulders. So roll your shoulders up and back and up and back, and you're just going around, nice and smooth and controlled. So the thing is, people, what happens, switch directions, what happens is you can get into what's called decision fatigue, because you keep making the same decision over and over again, you can't decide. Okay, arms over the sides, palms up, and then palms down, and up and down, we're twisting here, twisting here, nice long lift in the back. Okay, up and down, up and down. Okay, now up and down, good, keep speeding it up, keep speeding it up, I know, okay. So, what we're gonna do from here, now we're gonna bend our elbows, it's called Scarecrow. So my palms are facing behind me, elbows are bent. And then what I'm gonna do from here is my hands are gonna come up, my palms are facing forward, my elbows are gonna move, right? My elbows are just rotating, my shoulders are doing all the work, and twist, and twist, and twist, and twist. Good, and you're gonna keep working that on repeat, call these Scarecrows, it's really good for the shoulders. So I wanna help you guys learn how to make a decision regarding your fitness. I wanna make it once. I decide to be in shape, boom. And what we do is we reinforce that decision throughout the day. We have to keep reminding ourselves of it. 
You going? I know those arms are on fire. My arms are on fire. Okay, relax. All right, so squeeze your feet together. We're going to do butt kicks. Heel back to the butt, bending each knee. You can bring your arms off for a little bit of balance. You're going to be kicking the knee back, kicking the knee back, kicking the knee back on repeat. Now, it's very important for me that you understand what I'm trying to do here, folks, is I'm helping you achieve your goals. Keep going with the butt kicks side to side. I want to be motivational. I want to be amazing and fun, but also I need to tell you what's true. And the truth is we need to work on our decision making because a lot of us keep deciding to not work out. Every behavior is a decision. So I'm talking about here. Every behavior is a decision, good and bad. So if you don't work out, it's not because you couldn't or you didn't have time to. It's that you chose not to. Okay, now we're going to come across right here. You're going to cross and touch, cross and touch, cross and touch, cross and touch. Okay, and I like to kind of reach back and tap. Now what we're doing is we're rotating the, rotating the leg, bringing the hip open, tapping the foot. <laughs> Actually, right now I'm talking a lot about martial arts in white and black belts, which is kind of funny. It's kind of a tangent. But keep going with the butt kicks. Keep going with the butt kicks. Realistically, the, the story was there are no belts in real martial arts. All right, side to side. You ready? Here we go. Inside, two side, two side, two side, two side, two side, two side. Good. Keep working those side to side legs, pushing off. Knees are bent. Nice tall lift in the spine. You want to keep everything going, keep everything moving. Remember, core strength, folks, it's a full body. You want to get a nice warm up, get everything moving, everything checked in. A big part of that is just the mobility and the warm up. I'm going to keep working it. Good. She said something funny. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Good. Keep working side to side step. We're almost there. We're almost there. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right. And stop. Okay. Breathe. Here we go. Forward, forward, back, back. Okay. So what we're going to do is forward, forward, back, and back, and forward, forward, back, and back, and forward, forward, back, and back, and right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Keep working those tempo. Root forward. And forward, forward, back and back and forward, forward, back and back and forward, forward, back and back and forward, forward, back and back. Keep working that. Good. When you start working your coordination, right? It helps. All right, we're going to switch legs now. So now it's the other leg, okay? So it's left, right, left, right, forward, forward, back and back and forward, forward, back and back. You want to keep working that. You want to keep putting that effort. We're getting those coordinations. So what I talked about was the more nerves you use, the less you lose. Profound, I know. Good. And that's why we do a lot of coordination. Side to side. And then keep working forward, forward, back and back, and back and back, and forward, forward, back and back, and forward, forward, back and back, forward, forward, back and back. All right, stop. Here we go. All right. So we're next. This is actually for the hands, okay? This is a good one to floss the nerves. It's also going to help with carpal tunnel, arthritis, all of the above. So your palms are facing up, your elbows are bent. You want to make a fist. Okay, now with the fist, what happens is your thumb's going to come out, index, middle, ring, pinky. You're going to open your hands. And then you're going to reverse it, pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. And then you're going to open like that and close like that. And open like that and close like that. You want to go in order, in sequence. All right, so we're coordinating, we're working the nerves, but we're also essentially allowing space for these nerves to move. It's called flossing. It's going to help with all those hand issues. A lot of people have hand, wrist, pain, all of the above. Okay, Good. open and close, keep rolling, pinky and index, and shake it down. Okay, 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 next we're gonna do our, pretty sure we're gonna do the spine next. <laughs> this is fun, oh yeah, okay, good, breathe in, exhale, all right. So look, straight forward, right? That's towards the camera or towards me. So once you turn your head to the right, you're gonna turn your head to the right. Now keep your chin where it is, but look straight forward. So your eyes are, you're at the corner of your eyes. Okay, good. Now you're gonna turn your head back and you turn your head to the left. All right, so keep looking straight forward. Turn your head to the left. Okay, and then you're going to turn your head to the left and look. Turn your vision. Use your eyes. Moving your eyes. And coming back to center. Nice. Now, at length here, I'm talking about decisions. And then we're going to go shoulder to ear. Ear to shoulder. Stretch it out. Over to the right. Good. Relaxing. Okay, then we're going to go the other way. Over to the left. Oh, got to keep that moving. We got to keep moving that neck, folks. A big reason people's neck gets tight is because we don't move it enough. Okay, now we're going to go circles. Nice and slow, slow, big circles. Around. Good. Here we go. Switch. 
directions. Switching directions. Slow and control big circles. This is one of people's favorite exercises. One of your most favorite exercises. Good. Keep working with me. Keep working with me. Okay. Recover here. Eyes open. That was a fun one. We're going to work on our eyes. So you're really going to spread your eyes as much as you can. Open your eyes. My mom looks hilarious. And then close them and squinch. Good. And then ready to open. Open as wide as you can. And clench. And then open. And relax. Okay, let's do our, we're into our mid-back. Okay, so proud chest, squeezing shoulder blades together, lifting, flaring the ribs, arching that back. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay, now from here, we're going to go into the hunchback of Notre Dame, and you're going to slouch, push your shoulder blades, rounding your back, getting that horrible seated control posture, computer posture, good rounding. Kind of arching forward and reverse. We're going to open, big proud chest. And back, good. And then open, 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 squeeze your shoulder blades together. And back, good. And open, 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 open. And uh, relax. So I'm talking about I'm talking about lift here, folks. And that's if you didn't see the lecture from here. And lift is essentially just our, our opposition to gravity. We're really tall and long and lifted. And that's very, very important. So before we get to that, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the more of the side. So here we're going to go shaving the legs. You're going to reach down the side. All right, like you're shaving the side of your leg. Okay, good. I'm talking about something really important. I just don't remember what it was. And the other side coming down. There you go. Getting that side bend. Now we're going to come slightly in the front of the leg, reaching. Side bend. Good. And then coming back to center. All right, folks, we're almost to the first water break. Stay with me here. All right, so we're coming through here. Good. And then what we're going to do from here is I'm going to pause. All right, I'm back. So this is now we're coming down the front. You're going to reach for the kneecap, right? You're, you're, you're rounding your back, too, as you're reaching. And you're reaching down the front of the leg. My mom's reaching a little bit too much there. Oh, she fixed her sock. Okay. <laughs> I could do, like, a funny commentary on that. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the hips. Very important. Now we're almost done, folks. Final minute, okay? So. Here's what we're gonna do, feet wider than shoulder width, and we're gonna stir the pot, so we're gonna go over to the side. Good, forward, back, and around. Good, and forward, back, and around. Forward, back, and around. Good, now you're gonna switch directions, changing other direction, around. You really wanna push those hips, folks. You're moving your pelvis as well as your back here. All right, very important. Around, around, big circle, stirring the pot, we call that. All right, so now from here, we're going to do our belly dance. We're going to be neutral stance, okay? Now that's the gyrations here, up into the side and up into the side. You're going around nice and slow, really trying to get that movement. Good. It's funny when I watch myself, I, I, I'm there. I, I, it kind of looks hilarious. <laughs> it, this is actually, when you get a hip replacement, this is one of the first moves they do. Gyration, 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 gyration. Good, go, circle. Keep moving that elementary belly dancing, okay? All right, here we go. Final one. Final one for the water break. So here, bend the knees. You're going to tuck your hips underneath. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Okay, then you're going to arch. Arch that back, arch that back, arch that back, arch that back. Good. And tuck, 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 tuck. And arch the back. One more. Tuck. Last one, last one right here. And arch. All right. So before you get water, what I want you to do is you're going to grab your mat. And you're going to roll your mat up, and we're going to do working on the kneeling lunge, okay? So with that, I will see you after the break. All right, folks, welcome back. We're gonna be down here on one knee for lunge stretch. So, my mat is rolled up. My mom got the mat. I'm over here. My right and left leg is forward. Now we're keep working with this lift, okay? So, the foot that's on the ground is planted, and I want you to feel like you're pushing that foot into the ground, okay? So I'm pushing that foot into the ground and I'm lifting a nice tall spine. Now my arm is gonna reach up, my other arm is gonna reach up. Breathe in, inhale, reaching your spine as much as you can, stretching, exhaling, diving in the pool, hands coming down. Okay, stay down here for, for a hip opener. Breathe. Now if you have the flexibility, bring your hands forward, right, and then bring your elbows down to the ground. If you're wondering what happened before was my microphone battery died, so I had to voice over the other aspects. That's why my lips don't match my face. Okay, and coming back on the hands. 
Now before we switch legs, take the hand that's inside, right? So the hand that's close to my foot, breathe in. Exhale, bring that arm up towards the ceiling. We're twisting baby runner's lunge. Okay, and back down. Bring your front foot back. Meet the other foot, child's pose, pushing in the back. Breathing in. Okay, bringing our torsos up, our hands up for non-denominational prayer, hands together. Inhale. Exhale, stepping forward with the opposite leg without using your hands, ideally. Okay, and flat, good. Remember, plant that foot in the ground. Hold. I want you to breathe in, inhale. Both hands come up. Reaching, stretching, 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 and exhale, dive in the pool, hands come down inside the feet. Relax. Stretching is the key of life, folks. You hear me say that all the time, but it's true. Okay, from hip opener, we're going to bring our hands forward if you can, and bring your elbows down to the ground for deep hip opener. If you're not there today, you will get there assuming you practice. If you feel this in your lumbar spine, right in that lower back, go back onto your hands. Okay, let's sink up. Everybody breathe in. Inhale. Hands stacked. Exhale. Good. Okay, another breath in. Ready? Breathe in. Inside hand, close to the foot. Exhale, coming up and twist. Twisting, kneeling lunge. Good. Okay, inhale. Exhale, hand comes down. Bringing the front foot back. Meets the other foot, pushing into child's pose. From child's pose, bring your elbows to your knees. Okay. Now from here, it's just turtle. I'm going to army crawl my arms forward, army crawl forward into beginning plank. So my knees are down. In beginning plank, tuck your hips, squeeze your glutes, lower your chest all the way down so you're on your stomach, okay? Once you're on your stomach, relax. Okay, what I want you to do, I want you to lift your right leg straight up. Right leg goes straight up, and you're going to twist across your body for what's called scorpion, okay? So the right leg comes up, twisting across your body for scorpion. Inhale, exhale, coming here, switching legs, other side. Now I can hear you folks, you don't like being on your stomach, you don't like being on the ground. Well guess what, if you fell, you'd probably fall on your stomach, and you'd probably fall on the ground. So you got to be able to handle yourself in this position. Coming back here, inhaling. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on a side posture today. So I'm going to roll onto my side, so I'm going to face you guys. Okay. So, we're going to be in mermaid, which means I'm on my forearm, I'm on my elbow, okay? So for mermaid, what we're going to do is I want you to shrug your shoulder up and bring it up to your ear. You know, all this neck tension, Ugh. Okay, inhale. Exhale, pushing the shoulder away from the ear, driving your elbow into the floor, lifting your ribs as high as you can, lifting, 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 lifting. Okay? Keep that lift. Take your top leg, extend it out straight, keeping the lift. Okay, top leg is out straight. Breathe. You know where we're going from here. Keep your bottom knee down. Keep your top leg up. Drive your hips into the air for a modified beginning side plank. Hold it, breathe. Hold it, breathe. Holding and breathing. Breathing and holding. You got it. Come on, folks. This is where you got to challenge yourself. This is where you get in shape, right here. Inhale, exhale, bringing the leg down, bringing the hip down. Very nice. And go ahead, switch sides. I'm gonna do my little break dance move here. Break dance, okay. All right, so we're in mermaid, meaning my elbow is down, my hand is down, my knees are down. I'm gonna bring that shoulder to my ear, dropping all my weight in there, <clears throat> all my neck. Okay, from here, I'm going to lift my shoulder, driving my elbow in, lifting my rib cage, nice and tall, everything's holding. Okay? You're going to... Okay, here you go. Breathe in. Exhale, top leg goes out straight. Hold it. Okay, keep lifting. Okay? From this position, you're going to drive your hips into the air, lifting hips up for modified beginning side plank. If you're thinking in your head, I want to do a full side plank, hold your horses. Because we're going for two rounds of side planks. 
and half the people just turn the workout off. <laughs> Damn you! Don't make my accountability coaches come find you. They'll come to your house with social distance. Breathe in, exhale, and relax. Ah. Everyone hates my stories when we do side planks. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll, we're gonna sit, okay? We are in a seated position, we're gonna bend our knees, okay? Diamond, so our knees are gonna go down, our toes are facing out. I'm grabbing onto my shins, not butterfly. Your feet are away from you. You're gonna breathe in, you're gonna exhale, push your hips forward, stomach forward, chest nice and tall lifting. Okay? From diamond, we're gonna let go with our arms, bring our hands behind us. We're gonna turn our feet so our feet are flat. Right? We're gonna breathe in, we're gonna exhale, and we're gonna lift our hips up for crap. Or begin, this is, this is uh, reverse, plank, reverse plank prep. All right, my little advanced students, you want to beast mode? Go ahead, legs out straight for king crab. Here. Mom's not down for king crab. <laughs> I like the name king crab. Drive your hips up. Let's go. Squeeze your glutes. Lifting chest as high as possible. Breathing in. Exhale, bending your knees. Feet flat. Stepping. Sitting. Down. Breathe. Okay, now we're gonna do butterflies. So feet together, knees apart. Floor routine is very important. But it's not like gymnastics where we're doing cartwheels and backflips, we're doing butterfly stretch. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, left leg goes out. Let me turn to you see. Left leg goes out, right leg goes in. This is called four, because it looks like a four. If my left leg's out, I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna reach for my left toe and grab. Okay, time for a little ballet. Take your right arm. Reach your way from you, palm up. Breathe in, the arm, right arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale, brushing. Bring in the right arm, meet the left arm. Now we're gonna flow, okay? So we're gonna breathe in, brush the ground. Inhale, hand comes up. Exhale, reaching for the toe. We're gonna make these big circles of drone paints. Breathing in, brushing the ground. Inhale. Exhale, dropping forward. Very nice. One more, breathing in. Inhale. And exhale, coming forward. Okay, feet together for butterfly. Opposite leg, so leg is out, foot is in for four. So while we're seated, right, we're working on this very tall posture, working on our lift, lifting up, feeling good, okay? Got your right leg out, grab your, reach your toe with your right arm. If you can't grab your toe, grab the tongue of your shoe, grab your ankle, grab your calf. Hell, grab your kneecap or your pants, no matter, you gotta grab something. Okay, so bring this left arm out, inhale, coming around, exhaling, bringing your hand to me, okay? Brush your hand, inhale, and exhale, coming in, good. Inhale, and exhale, coming through, good. One more, inhale, 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 and exhale, reaching through, beautiful. All right, one of my personal favorites, this is open second on the floor. This is also a version of straddle. So my feet are gonna be apart, okay? Now a lot of us, when our feet are apart, we're just gonna have to slouch back. So what I do when I coach people that don't have that flexibility, you take your hands behind you, and you're gonna push your hips forward, and you wanna imagine your belly button going to the floor in front of you, okay? And you're using your hips. And you know, you've seen a gymnast, they literally roll over into splits, okay? Now if you're more flexible, my mom and I are, you can sit up nice and tall, I don't say it to brag, folks, say it to motivate you. I couldn't touch my toes when I was like 20. Okay? Bring your right arm, try to grab your right toe. Bring your left hand, try to grab your left toe. And you wanna lift, look, don't slouch, don't turtle. You wanna lift your belly button. Get that lift, get that lift, get that lift. So should I keep, because Stop. I have to slouch to do Oh, well, if you have to slouch to get your toes, don't, don't slouch. That's a good question. That's why we pay her the big bucks, AKA she pays me. <laughs> and feet together. Everyone's least favorite right here, the sit and reach, okay? So my feet are out and straight in front of me. This is from 8th grade PE. Now look, most of us don't need to reach that far. What most of us need to do is bring our hands behind us and push forward, okay? But if you're more flexible, like we are, inhale, and you're going to exhale, dropping the stomach forward, reaching for the toes. There's nothing like sit and reach to make you feel insecure about your flexibility. 
Okay, and relax. All right, as promised, folks, side plank round two. Now, look at guys, watch this, it's cool. So from sit and reach, I take my left elbow, I bring it down to the left ground, I turn until I'm on the side of my feet, and boom, I'm in side plank. Go ahead, practice that for a second. I have an entire thing called flow, which is moving to movement to movement. Let's go. I'm not gonna do it, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm just kidding. All right, we're inside, Blake, we're on the clock. Now, for my more advanced students, okay? This top arm, you're gonna reach over your head, extending the lever, and that top leg's gonna come up for super side plank. Okay? Now, if you're feeling super advanced, you're gonna bring your ankle behind you, reach, grab your ankle for flamingo side plank, hold. From flamingo side plank, bring your back foot down, touch, lifting the bottom up here, break down side plank. Okay, leg down, coming down, and relax. I just did that to show you guys that the levels, there's a lot more levels, okay? I don't think my mom did any of those. Did you try any of those? I could put my hand up. She put her hand up! <laughs> nice job, that's why she's white though. Okay, here we go, other side, and then we're gonna get water and we do our standing practice, okay? So here, breathe in, inhale, exhale, popping up in the side plank, okay? I'm gonna get nice and set here, okay? For our more advanced students, inhale, hand goes overhead, right? Exhale, foot comes up for super side plank. For our mastery students, right? Bending the knee, bring your arm behind you for flamingo side plank, holding. Okay? Bring that top foot behind you, lifting the body up for breakdance side plank. Good. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, so. From here, stand up with proper technique. Let's do it together. So we're gonna roll onto our stomachs. From stomach, all right, I'm gonna cobra up, lifting my hips for crawl. Okay, cobra up, lifting your hips for crawl. From crawl, lift the knees, walk the hands back to the feet, feet into the hands, rolling up nice and slow. That's how you stand up with no joint pain, folks. Okay, so go ahead and pause here, get water, and we're gonna do our standing work. All right, we're back. My mom just asked if we're almost done, so you may be thinking the same thing. We are, in fact, almost done. What we want to do core strength is we integrate, meaning we take the pieces we just worked on and put them all together in a standing position, okay? So our first stance is called neutral stance. My feet are short width apart. Now we're just going to blow through these. I hope you guys know them. If you don't, you have to go back and watch some other workouts. I'm going to step forward with my right leg. One stride length for 50-50, okay? 50% weight in each leg. Two stride lengths for split stance. I'm going to show the angle so you can see me. Three stride lengths for high lunge, okay? Now there is a fourth and final position, right, which is actually a striking lunge, and that would be four stride lengths apart, boom, right? This is a committed deep high lunge, it's a striking lunge. From this position, you don't wanna step back, you wanna step forward, okay? I'm just showing there, because people have been working out with me for eight weeks, and guess what? They need harder stuff, folks. Like a mom, she's ready to go. All right, so the other side, ready? So neutral stance, breathe in. Exhale, 50-50, one stride length. Two stride lengths, split stance, okay? Three stride lengths, high lunge. Now folks, if this is it for you today, that's fine. It's totally okay to be right here. This is a good, this is a good position, but if you want to commit to the striking, deep high lunge, go ahead. And I'm in, now once I'm in this position, I gotta step forward and up, okay? Good, so. Let's touch base on what we did last week. We're gonna come up on the balls of our feet. Imagine your head stays stuck where it is. You're gonna inhale. You're gonna exhale, keeping your head where it is, dropping your heels, feeling your spine elongate. Nice and tall posture. Long and lean and lifted, okay? Hold that nice tall posture, okay? We're gonna shift our weight into our right leg. Shifting our weight into our right leg. Staying lifted, shifting. Now our left foot should just float up naturally from shifting our weight so much, or not so naturally. For my more advanced students, take that left leg, brush it along the ground, and step forward into split stance, then step back into neutral stance. Okay, let's roll through the whole thing real quick. Coming up on the balls of my feet, holding my head where it is, exhaling, dropping my heels down, <sighs> lifting nice tall posture, shifting my weight into my left leg, shifting, 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 shifting so much, my opposite leg floats up. Balance. 
brushing that leg along the ground here, split stance, stepping forward and recover, breathe. Let's keep working with this idea of lift, of elongation, with what's called, we do what's called a quad loaded squat, I haven't thought of the actual fun name for it. But essentially I'm going to show you, you guys are going to be in neutral stance, you're going to keep your body nice and tall and long. You're going to bend your knees till they go to the edge of your toes, and you're essentially going straight down. You don't lean forward at all. So you don't lean forward. Don't stick your butt out. No, you're sticking your butt out. You want to go down, just straight down. Now look, you can't go very low, right? But your quads, all the weights in your quads. Now from here, we actually practiced last week, is you're going to squeeze your glutes. When you squeeze your glutes, you're going to stand up, and you're going to come onto the balls of your feet. It's like a little jump. And snap the hips. And down, okay? Snap the hips and down, okay? So use your hips, boom. And everyone take a moment. Get that long posture in the torso, right? Driving the hips up and down, driving the hips up. All right, here we go. Let's take air. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, we're gonna jump. Two, snap the hips and land. Nice, did you do it? Nice job. <laughs> Breathe. These are the fundamentals of movement right here. That's jumping. Now we're gonna work ski jumper. All right, so ski jumper is a way to load your hips without loading your back. Mom knows ski jumper. So you're in neutral stance. Nice tall posture. Palms are facing behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades. Suck your stomach in. You're going to bend your knees. Push your hips back now. Push your hips back. Lean forward. Lean forward. Now suck your belly button off the floor. Okay? Suck that belly button off the floor. Chin down here. Squeeze. Now, more advanced students, what I want you to do is I want you to come up onto the balls of your feet in ski jumper. Balance. Now everyone together, we're going to thrust our hip forward to stand up. <sighs> Clap your hands together. Yep. So now we're going to load. Here, coming down. And more advanced students are on the balls of their feet. And we're going to drop our hips together. Pop. Good. And down. Now you're going to smooth it out. You're going to go down and up. And down and up. And down and up. And if you want to add a jump, go ahead. Jumping into the air. Jump your arm into the air. Last one. Jumping into the air. And recover. Insert me bragging about how high I can jump here. Thank you. You're welcome, of course. All right, so squat stance. So neutral stance here, stepping apart. One stride length is squat stance. Now, when we do our squat stance, you want your toes facing out just a wee bit, okay? That's going to open the hips and allow this hip angle. Now, the difference between a squat stance and a ski jumper is, or a squat and a ski jumper is, for a squat, I'm going to bend my knees. I'm going to stick my hips back like a ski jumper, but I'm going to keep my chest up and I'm going to bend my knees a little bit more, okay? So I'm here. Squat. Now from here, same thing. Drive your hips up, squeezing the glutes, okay? So nice tall posture. Inhale, bending the knees, sticking your hips back. Snapping the hips. Boom. Good. And now dropping the hips. Snapping up. Down. Inhale, that's one, boom, snap hips. So if you can work, review, quad loaded jump, quad loaded, ski jumper, and squat, you've essentially just nailed down every, the three most important lower body movements. That can really help your knees, your back, and surprisingly, your core muscles, okay? Let's relax. So I just wanna end with a little balance challenge, kinda of bring things together a little bit, a little bit, uh, obviously challenging, but a little bit technical, okay? So we're gonna be in neutral stance, Follow along with your brain here. So we're in neutral stance. I'm gonna take my right leg. I'm gonna step forward one step for 50-50. Two steps for split stance, okay? From split stance, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bend both my knees, right? I'm gonna push my hips forward and I'm gonna drag my back toe along the ground. Now I'm in an empty stance, meaning all the way to my right, all the way to my right leg and my toe is down. Now from this empty stance, I'm gonna turn my hips. So my knee is gonna to turn towards the wall, my hips are open. I'm gonna take this front leg, my left leg, and I'm gonna step forward into, this is a side warrior pose, okay? You feel that step? Now turn the back foot, pivot, drag it along the ground, empty stance. Now we're in empty stance on the opposite side. Now from here, you're gonna turn, opening that leg, Open that left leg, stepping forward that left leg into this warrior position. Turn the back leg, pivot, dragging the foot along the ground, okay? So this is actually a very Tai Chi step. 
Do the same leg with me, folks. You don't have to watch me, you just gotta listen to the words, okay? So breathe in, exhale, lifting the spine nice and tall, okay? So we're gonna step forward into split stance with our left or right foot, okay? So right foot, two stride length, split stance, bend the knees, drag the left toe along the ground, okay? Take the left knee, turn it open, stepping away towards the other wall with the, with the left foot. Now turn the back foot, turn that right foot, drag that right toe along the ground. Now turn with that right leg, boom, step, and then turn with the back leg and drag, and you're gonna get this essentially zigzagging, stepping motion, okay? So go ahead and take a little time to work that. Now, if you're more advanced, you don't drag the back foot, okay? So let's go ahead and practice it. I'm gonna step forward, boom. I'm not gonna drag my back leg, I'm in balance. I'm gonna turn my hips open, splaying open, coming here, right? I'm not gonna drag the back leg, coming here, turning, coming the other way, coming in. Go, there you go. What's up, Tai Chi? So this is a redirection, okay? So like, if my mom and I were engaged right here and I step in to a strike, here, right, and then she comes into me. I'm going to redirect my energy away. Cool. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. All right, breathe. All right, let's do our breathing exercises, folks. Let's gather everything in. Let's reaffirm that we did a good job today. We made this far. Nice job. You made a decision to do the entire workout. It may not seem like that, but you did. Okay, all our behaviors are decisions. So this is actually a breathing exercise designed to help you make decisions. Okay, now, what you have to do is you have to start with your hands. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I got a big sandwich, right? My hand, my fingers together. I'm gonna look through my sandwich, okay? Now this is essentially like you got binoculars on, you're scanning the area, toy, toy for decisions, right? You like these? These are all real things, by the way. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breathe in, I'm gonna inhale, my hands are gonna come apart, inhale, and they're gonna to come together in front of me with my palms facing. And I'm gonna exhale and I'm gonna cover my eyes. And then I'm gonna open my eyes back into my binoculars. Okay, so breathe in, gathering, seeing all the decisions. And then you're gonna exhale, cover your eyes. That's making the decision. You're no longer gonna see all the decisions because you made it, okay? Open the sandwich, binoculars, breathe in, inhale. And then exhale. Close your eyes. Open, breathe in. Exhale. Now let's add our visualization, folks. Okay, so you got your binoculars. See the decision to want to work out and be healthy. Inhale. Grab that decision, make it. I am healthy. I am healthy. Open the eyes. See that decision to be healthy. Inhale, grab it. Exhale, make the decision. I am healthy. Make the binoculars. See the decision to be healthy. Inhale, last one. Exhale, cover the eyes. I am healthy. Good, bring your hands down. Let's do our closing breaths, crossing both arms. Inhale, inhale up. Exhale down. Nice job, there. inhale. Exhale down, I'm feeling good. Inhale up all the way. Exhale, dive in the pool, forward fold. Reflect on your efforts today. Where did you do a good job? Tell yourself that. Don't worry about the things you didn't do as well. Worry about the things that are good. It's called reverse worry. Okay, you're going to roll up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up. All right, work out. Blink yourselves for an applause. Nice job. Thank you, wonderful mom. She's done. Nice job today. Folks, if you made it this far, you're better than 90% of the population. I know it's not a contest, but it's a contest! No, I'm just playing. Really, what we're doing here, folks, is we are preserving our lifespan, but more importantly is we're increasing the quality of life. There's no point in living a long life if the quality is poor. If you have joint pain, if you, are, have, if you are chronically unhealthy, out of breath, tired, the quality of your life is a lot lower. Exercise is scientifically proven 
assuming you do it correctly, which is what we're doing and what you're investing in, exercise will help you increase your energy, improve your endurance, minimize if not completely eliminate joint pain, which will transfer to higher and more fulfilling levels of movement and increase the quality of your life. And I want to end with this piece talking about Yogi Fit Forever in a serious way is if you lose the ability to move with ease and comfort, it will significantly diminish the quality of your life. And if you live in a life that is low quality, your lifespan is going to shorten. So what we are doing is we are learning how to move. We are motivating ourselves to improve our movement quality. So that way, we can increase our quality of life. And assuming we stay with it and we stay consistent, this will enhance or lengthen our lifespan, which I'm sure is something we all can agree that we want to do. Now there's a saying, it's a sort of a stoic philosophy, nothing will come of nothing. If you do nothing, nothing will change. So if you don't do these workouts, or this is your first workout, or this is the only workout you've done or are going to do this week, nothing's going to change. You're not going to see the benefits. You have to be consistent, folks. I do my best to make these workouts engaging and fun for you. However, we need to develop a self-discipline of commanding ourselves to do the workouts. And this is why we're working on decisions. Is I just want you to make one decision that I will exercise and you're gonna follow through with that decision so starting right now make the decision I will exercise that's it that's how we're gonna start today okay please as always if you have questions please ask me please ask me please ask me and if you have made this far in the video you get a triple congratulations nice job if you're on YouTube Go ahead, click that subscribe button. Essentially what that does is it just boosts YouTube, my YouTube channel, so more people will find this if they search on the YouTube. Obviously the more people the better. But the best way to get the word out is to ask your friends. Very shortly, depending on what state, you will be able to gather in small groups, assuming we uh, practice safe social distance. If you have a house, look, you've got two, three room, two, three uh, places that people can come. You throw on the video, you do it together. This is going to be a team effort. That is truly the goal, folks. It's not just me and you, it's me, you, and your friends. So, best way to get motivated, motivate somebody else. Grab a friend, we're almost open. Have a, share a big space, do the video together. The more you work out, the better you move, the better you move, the better your life will be, the better your life will be, the longer it will. Okay, so with that, I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever. Peace.